Okay, it should be noted now. Um, I went back and looked at everything I've shot so far, and it's pretty grainy, and I think it's going to end up being that way. Um, it's not as clear as some of Greg's stuff, but um, I'm just going to leave it. I'm the black player. It's the dark side. What are you going to do? Um, and also, background noise, it's like 110 outside, and I am right next to a window, and it's pretty hot. So, there's fans. I apologize. It's going to be fuzzy. So... We're at the beginning of turn four, and I've in inputted Rocking Horse Dreams' as movements as well as done some of my own uh, because I didn't want to talk right away because my son is getting put to sleep by my wife. Um, so let's see what what happened. Basically, there's a lot of you know moving towards the labyrinth things that you know make sense given his previous behavior. These two. Um, cow, cow pokes are going towards the colonial labyrinth. Can't blame him for that. Sir Gawain is going to be hitting his challenge next turn. Uh, this is kind of the, or this turn actually, this is kind of the turn that people are going to start getting cards or failing their challenges. Um, I have Marcus Aurus very close. Um, Geronimo and Sergeant Grit for me. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, we'll both be able to do challenges this turn. So we'll see what they get. When they get there, um, I wanted to talk about Spartacus got dismissed back here. So he's in no man's land along with Agent 911. Agent 911 has, I, I assume, uh, less of a distance to go unless he decides to have Spartacus go to the Colonial Labyrinth. I really kind of wanted to use Agent 911 to trip him up. Um, but Spartacus is dangerous enough that, I don't know. Well, it just would have been would have been inconvenient to try and trip him up because I'm not in a tunnel. So I'm going to send him, go ahead and send him into a labyrinth. It was just an impulse. Then Milena Arabato is right here. She's probably going to head towards the modern labyrinth and she'll get there quickly. He's She's one of his fastest guys, if not, yep, she's his fastest guy. Um, he played it kind of opposite to how I did. He, he put his fast person in last. I put my fast person in first. I don't know. Oh, and here's something interesting. So... He could have moved Boris much further than he did, but it looks like Boris is guarding um, Paraxian, who I, if you recall from last turn, I I had go into the fire for safety. I think um, Paraxian, you know, does have some potential for damage, but man, Black Melee, it, it seems like he would be on the losing side of an exchange with Boris. I don't know the probabilities, but it's not worth it with this two life for me to even try. If Boris gets a hit in, um, anything better than a than a fop, uh, Braxian's toast. So I'm going to go ahead and um, turn over my first challenge of the game here. And where's our colonial deck right here? So it's going to be the ruins of and that's a blue for strength and Geronimo's got a green so that's going to give him a number of 8 but he gets a plus 1 so that's 9 I played this enough that I kind of got the chart in my head just got to get a 9 or better to fop to squeak why did I say fop? Just, it's squeak. I think I said fop earlier when I meant squeak. I haven't played it enough recently to get the terminology down. Okay, so you get a seven, so that's a success. He's going to get a card through the, <coughs> through the chasm of knives and beyond the waterfall lie the hidden ruins. Ooh. So Geronimo, in his heart of hearts, in his mind, found the ruins of Tarha. And once there, he found... Oh, a varmint rifle, great. Um, not the best thing, not something he's particularly good at using, but he can certainly hand this off to, well, I guess whoever's convenient. We'll see where he dismisses. Um, but I would certainly like to, to get it to the sergeant. That would be nice. Or Paraxian would be good too. Oh, it would be cool if he could get to this area. <clears throat> Let's find out where he dis. Oh, I can't dismiss him yet. I gotta go by the book. When I play by myself, I kind of just dismiss him right away. Um, so I gotta leave this out to show Rocking Horse Dreams that that's the challenge because I we haven't figured out how we're gonna do our challenge decks. But I think probably what we'll do is we'll pull this out of the deck. Okay. Um, 
And I'll just go ahead and do my next one too, since I'm not having to do the editing, so why not? All right, here comes another blue one. Oh, he gets a penalty on these. He suffers minus 200 adventure challenges involving wits because he's so hard-headed. Brink of War, June 3, 2031. Unusual activity at many Asian League air bases. Yeah, so let's roll. So he gets a minus two. How would that work? <coughs> So his number to squeak would be seven. So he gets a minus two on that, so five. He needs a five to squeak. Not a good challenge for him. This will probably be fodder for Molina Arabato. Arabato. Yeah, seven. That's a fail year. Um, so he just gets dismissed. That's not bad. And I'll go ahead and I'll, I won't make you watch me roll to dismiss them. Okay, since last we met. Um... A lot has happened. So let's take a look. I love my concern about Paraxian over here last turn. He didn't move. So. I don't know. Um, Grit was over here somewhere. He made it into the labyrinth, faced the challenge, the brink of war, and failed. He got dismissed over here um, Marcus made it into the labyrinth and Arden is well on his or her way what else oh, agent 911 moved out here I don't know what he's doing so Geronimo got a card so I need to remember to stay away from him. Greg mentioned something about last turn. Annie, I think who was right here, may have had a opportunity fire at Grit when he was over in the swamps. Um, but that's not so because her weapons range is only three. Now let's go ahead and move Annie. She'll go... Yeah. Three, four, five, six. So I, I like her chances. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. She'll get there perfectly next turn. Um, let's just move Pat while we're here. He gets six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. An addendum. Um, Pat moved there. I had him here, but that was only five moment. So six because he started off right there. Okay, Sir Gawain gets five. I'm probably saying that wrong and I'm gonna get told about it. One, two, three, four, five. Perfectly. His challenge is. You can't see that. Little John Big Stick. He stands upon a log over a cold stream. Get a stick of your own and knock him off. This is a strength challenge. Sir Gawain's strength is yellow. Yellow against green is eight, but since he's in his labyrinth, that'll be a nine. So I need a nine to squeak. To squeak. And he squeaks it. And the squeak result is. He gets one card and he is dismissed. He falls off one side, you fall off the other. Not very gallant. We get Storm Sprite. She is a living ranged miscellaneous weapon. Range of five. Not bad. Let's do his dismissal roll. And it is a one. And I'll just actually put him back over here. Six. So we'll move him three. Oh, no, crits. Okay. Four. 
five, six. Let's see what Gregor thinks about that. That's I like that. I'm still I I don't know what's going on right there. I don't like it. Melina's over here. We want to get her to the modern. She has seven, and she's going to have to actually stay there. Because she only has seven movement, and she can't get into the water. Now, Spartacus, I had an idea of just sending him to the Colonial and just try to get something started. Because I don't know if I want to fight for that future labyrinth because it's still only one point, no matter how far ahead he has it. So, if I can get a leg up... And let's see, the Brink of War is... a blue intelligence challenge. And... Melina has blue intelligence. Spartacus has green intelligence, which is actually better. So let's send Spartacus. Hmm, I wonder what's coming up for Colonial. No worries. Let's send him out. Okay, now. Agent 911's melee is not very good. And he has three life points, or three hit points. So maybe I should attack. Let's see, his defense is red. White against red, I would need to roll an 11 to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't get to him. I think we're actually going to move Spartacus here. Which is unfortunate because he can never catch up. They have the same movement value. But I can feign like I would like to chase him, which I wouldn't mind doing. It's not really the most advantageous, but... So I keep forgetting to show it, but... We've been through three rounds, and now it's the end of round four. Right, look at that. That's... That's good stuff. <laughs>